Good afternoon YouTube and welcome back to Fat Cat Collections and today I'm excited to share with you guys, I know you guys have been waiting for a while, another Invicta watch. Yes, I went and pulled the trigger on another Invicta watch and there's always going to be an Invicta watch that I'm going to want to buy. And let's face it, you know, since I first started getting involved in this Invicta game and collecting these Invicta watches, uh, you know, I, I tell you, when I first started looking, they were a lot more expensive than they are now. And it's just amazing the deals that I've, I've seen this last year on these Invicta watches. It's just, a, it's amazing how much watch they give you for your money. So when I saw this one, I immediately liked the way it looked right off the bat. And it was another watch that I already have. This is my fourth in my collection. And I tend to like to get things that are a little bit different. And this one here, I wasn't really, I kind of looked at other Venom watches uh, in the past. And I, you know, over the last couple of months, I said, God, you know, there's a, some really great deals on them. And then there's a couple of new models. I was like, man, it's really nice looking. But for the price, I wasn't really, you know, I have other things I spend money on as well. But that is till I saw this one here and the deal I got it for, I'm not even going to tell you guys the deal I got it for. It's so good. But I will put links in the description where you can check out this watch if you want to make a purchase. And sometimes, you know, depending on where you get it from and who's running the promotions or how many they've produced, uh, maybe it's just certain colors not moving, whatever reason, you can get some really exceptional deals. Uh, this same watch I'm about to show you with a slight variation in the color, same watch, just different bezel and face variation, is like three times the price. So it's pretty amazing. Uh, again, it, timing is everything, folks. So let's talk about it. Uh, this is it right here. And this is model number two. What do we got here? Two. 6654 Invicta. And this is one of their new designed Venom watches. And what I like about um, what Invicta is doing lately is that they're they're kind of breathing some new life into, or not really new life, but they're they're trying new uh, design aspects on watches that they've had around for a while. The Venom watch is my very first Ven very first Invicta watch I ever purchased, and that's that started the ball rolling on this obsession with these uh, watches. Now, guys, everybody likes something different and I don't ever make a video telling you that Invicta is the best watch ever made. Um, and I would tell you it's one of the top 10 best watches ever made. What I'm telling you is the amount of watch you get for the money is exceptional. Anybody who picks this watch up, feels it in their hand, and compares it to watches comparably priced will, will feel that this watch is much better quality. I'm sorry. It's just the way it is. I have watches in this price point, and, you know, some are like, okay, you know, they're different. They may be smaller and you can still feel the quality, but you go go to any department store, go into the mall, and for you for what you're gonna pay for this watch, there's no watch you're gonna find out there for that price that's gonna give you this kind of value. Now again, I'm not saying you can't get a nice Seiko or a G-Shock, and, and that's not great quality as well, but for what you're getting for this, for how expensive this looks, for all the design aspects in this, it really is amazing they can provide, they can give you a watch of this caliber for the dollar value they, they sell them for. And so, uh, so a little bit more about the watch. Basically, it's your standard Venom watch, and there's all different kind of Venom watches out there. They make a slew of different colors and combinations. And what they've done in this particular one, it's exactly the same. And I'm going to show you guys. I have a, a couple Venoms right here to show you guys the differences. Um, basically, they've used what appears to be the exact same case, crown, and pushers um, on your standard Venom watch. Let me just go ahead and show you that. I have one right here. It's my very first one. And that's the, what the bezel looks like on the original Venom. Still a gorgeous looking watch. You know, different face, of course. Uh, still a looker. And what they've done is they've added this, in, they've added this kind of bolt uh, Zeus style bezel with this huge thick cabling going around the bezel. And then it's kind of carved out, almost like, like a spider web um, on the exterior of the bezel. Uh, really is an awesome looking design. And I'm really, really happy that I picked this one up. I just, uh, this one's been a real looker. I've gotten several compliments on this thing, and I've only had it for a couple days. Um, another thing I really like that they've done with this one here is that the face on here, they've added, um, as part of your chronograph here, you have your, let's see if I can get a pointer here maybe, make it a little easier for you guys to see what I'm, I'm looking at. So what they've done is on this particular um, dial, they have your, your day of the week, of course, your day of the month, okay, your second hand, and then of course, what I like what they've done here, they've redesigned this particular, um, what would be, I guess, your minutes. Uh, so when you activate the chronograph, this is going to calc this is going to log up to 60, 30 minutes of time. So every minute you're going to see that little red pointer jump, and that's basically what the chronograph is for. It's a stopwatch basically. But what I like is that it's not just your standard, uh, you know, second hand, uh, kind of like on if I show you in the original one here, 
it's just basically a you know a dial and a hand. Uh, what they've done on this one here, they made like this kind of what appears to be like a skeletonized. Um, you know what it kind of looks like. It almost gives you the the in my opinion just the look that you can see the balance wheel. They've almost made that second hand look like if you were looking at it from a distance here, you'd say, oh, it's an open heart, and you can see the balance wheel. But it's actually just a round dial with a red pointer on it. And I think it's a really interesting design uh, the way they did that, and they changed the way the day of the week is. Here they have this round dial, something you'd see like on a master calendar. They've added kind of like this gold accent piece, and then you see the day of the week uh, right in the carved out section right there. Let's even get close enough so you can see that there. I'm not sure if my camera is capable of getting that close. And of course, for all you knuckleheads, here comes the bezel turn. I will say the bezel on this one here is a little bit different than your standard Venom, if that's important to you. The standard Venom bezel, eh, actually, you know what? I think I spoke too soon. Okay, comparing it to the the Venom Hybrid here, the bezel is a little bit tighter on this one here. This one here has got a little bit easier ratcheting uh, kind of sound. It's completely irrelevant in my opinion, but some of you guys like to hear that. So, uh, and then of course you have your loom on all the indices right there, loom on the hands, and uh, that's pretty much standard on your Venom watches. They always seem to have that very large round uh, loom. I'm not sure what you'd actually call them, but uh, everything else in the watch is exactly the same as your original Venoms. Uh, the back on it is a little bit different. Your original Venom watch has a slightly different back. And the, the back they put on this particular one here is more similar to the Venom Hybrid, which I'll show you that in just a second here. You see that? And that's really about it. I mean, I just absolutely love what they did with the bezel and the face. I think this is just a fantastic looking watch. And it just, it just shows that they're just really putting a lot of thought into everything they do. I mean, just look at how beautiful that is. And I love the fact they're taking different elements of some of the other watches, like this cabling system has always been um, on the Bolt Zeus. And now you find that a lot of different watches are kind of combining uh, that, that styling into other watches. Uh, just to show you again, the Venom Hybrid, this is one of their... Uh, the very first hybrid I think that they've ever come out with where they've taken several different design aspects. And I always was wondering why they called this the um, Venom hybrid because really um, the only thing that's Venom on this watch is really just the uh, the bezel which is off the Venom 2 which is a hard one to get. I did a review on that years ago. Ended up selling the watch. Um, awesome looking bezel. You can see it's really well chiseled. Uh, it's chunky. It's aggressive. I, I love it. It's one of my favorite bezels on any of the Invicta watches. I'm really hoping at some point maybe they do a like a Sea Hunter hybrid or maybe a Grand Arsenal hybrid would be awesome by taking some of these aspects and putting it on that watch like this huge chunky bezel look awesome on one of those but I'm sure Invicta's always always scheming ways to, to come up with a new design of course um, and then of course this watch here that's the only thing that's Venom on it the case on this and the band is off your uh, your Sub Aquas uh, your Sub Aqua Specialty I believe and then your Noma 5 Crown and Pushers so a little bit different, obviously, but uh, you know, you you be the judge. Which one do you guys like better? Do you like the Venom Hybrid? Again, of course, you got the original Venom, which is always beautiful. But you know, I, I think that the design aspects they're putting on to some of these uh, bezels they're doing. I mean, I mean, this bezel's not. It's not that it's not attractive or anything like that. But they really knocked it out of the park with this particular one here, with just the way they they encase that braided cable into this like spider style bezel, spider web style bezel, it really is cool. And again, the rest is just your standard Venom watch. Now guys, I picked this thing up for under 300 bucks. I will put links in the description. There's always deals again. Uh, I pulled the trigger on it because I thought it was so cool looking and I just really love the way, they, like I said, they don't with the bezel and uh, and that new, that redesigned face. It just really is awesome. And it's almost like the, the face almost has like a, uh, I mean, don't quote me on this, but almost like, like it's hard to see, but like a snakeskin kind of pattern, like a leatherish pattern. It's got, it's definitely interesting looking. All right, so a little bit about the watch here uh, before I throw it in the wrist. Uh, again, it's model 26654. Links will be in the description. Uh, depending on where you get this right now, I'm just happy to be on, uh, uh, I'm on eBay here. So the price ranges, you know, 600, three to six. To, you know, be a smart shopper, like I always say, guys. Uh, they have it in a couple different variations. You can get in the silver uh, cable with the silver face. That one's going to cost you a little bit more. And let's see here. Water resistance down to 1,000 meters. Uh, the crystal type, they just say it's mineral. Uh, usually, uh, they usually Invictus have the flame fusion. This one may be different. Uh, day and date, 30-minute chronograph function. 
It is a quartz movement. It is not Swiss made, but it is a Swiss made Ronda, of course, um, which is the movement vendor. Uh, the components of you know, there's always that, let's face it, Swiss made means nothing nowadays, and it does not mean could Swiss made it's better. Sorry, just doesn't. So it is powered by a Z60 FE, they call it. Uh, no jewels in this particular movement. Uh, band length, standard 210 millimeters, band width 26 millimeter, standard Invicta style buckle on the back, pretty much is standard on most of their watches. They don't really do anything else but that, as far as I've seen on most of the Invictas I have. Uh, whereas Aragon uses that double deployment, which I actually like better. Uh, and what else here? 52.5 millimeters, they say, on the case size. Um, they had to throw in that 0.5. I'm not really sure if they're talking about the crown and pushers on that. Let's just see what it actually measures here. Yeah, I guess we can say 0.5. Half a millimeter, I guess, was worth mentioning. <laughs> but uh, that's about it really with the watch. I mean, if you've ever, if you don't have a Venom watch in your collection and you're an Invicta lover, I definitely encourage you to pick one up. Uh, now you have several different options, whether it be the Venom Hybrid, uh, which I would consider this also a hybrid of some sort, because uh, they are using that Bolt Zeus or Zeus Bolt um, design aspects with that cabling. I love the fact they're using cabling on a lot of their watches now. It just It really is something you don't see on any other watch brand. I don't. I can't think of any watch brand uh, who uses cabling like that. It's really, really cool. And again, that's my opinion. All right, guys. So here's let's, let's show you what it looks like on the wrist. I'm about uh, five foot seven and a half, five foot eight. I weigh about 170 pounds, and I have a seven inch wrist. So naturally, as I always say, all these watches look pretty big on me. And this one is no exception. You know what, I, I, you know, I, I kind of like the way the silver one was to it, the silver face, the silver braided cable, but I have a Thunderbolt which has that similar bezel with the braided cable in gold and silver. So I think this was, a, this was something for my collection that's different than any other Invicta watch that I have. I don't have anything with a gold and black. So that's why I had to pick it up. I've been wearing this for about three days now, and I just absolutely love it. Awesome watch. Get back a little bit and see what it looks like back here. Now this happens just for size purposes. I'll show you what it looks like next to This is a newest Neymar watch I just came out with. I'm going to review this one next. You can see it just really, I mean different watches, you know. Sometimes I wear some of these smaller watches, absolutely. But check out my video on this too. This is one of their newest ones. Just came out. If you guys like homage watches, then uh, then definitely watch this video on this one here. All right, guys. Well, that is my quick review on the Invicta Venom, what I would consider like a bolt hybrid watch. Uh, like I said, absolutely stunning. Let me know what you guys think. I love when you guys drop comments. Uh, the subscriber count keeps going up, over 10,500 subscribers now. And, uh, you know, I want you Invicta lovers out there, you watch lovers out there, uh, to know that, you know, I, I've been reviewing a lot of smart home tech and that kind of stuff, and I'm working with a lot of companies now. So the channel's a little bit of everything. I'm always going to be reviewing watches. Companies are always reaching back out to me to re review stuff. And uh, I wish I could get that Invicta deal where I can review their watches. But keep in mind, I have one with Aragon. So if you guys see any Aragon watch on their website that you say, hey, I'd really like to see what that looks like in a review, see it on the wrist, let me know. I'll go ahead and let my contact know that I'd like to review that watch, and I'll put it up for you guys. It's uh, That one, I, I have quite a bit of leeway on which ones I can get. The Virtuoso is one they haven't wanted to send me, I think just because it's like their, their top of the line, their, their most expensive watch. But maybe I get my hands on one at a later date. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. I love the support. I uh, love when you guys drop the comments. For you haters, I hope you hate on this one too. Uh, <laughs> some people you just can't, you just can't please. You, the have-nots just they, they just they, they come out the woodwork when you see they see nice stuff that they can they don't have. So uh, anyway, guys, I do appreciate all the positive comments and all the support and on the love of watches and the love of you know technology and smart home stuff. And it's been a really great. Uh, Great, uh, you know, great uh, journey uh, sharing this stuff with you guys. So uh, that's about it, folks. All right, remember to subscribe to the channel. Click like, click share, click the bell to be notified anytime I upload a new video. And uh, let me know what you guys think. I'll put links in the description when you get this. And as always, guys, you have a wonderful day. Take care.